Wellington. The member from Perth Wellington. Thank you, Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my uh, question is for the Premier. Premier, why did the government deliberately and heartlessly, heartlessly sacrifice the horse racing industry in favor of a pie-in-the-sky scheme to build glittering casinos in Toronto, the Premier's backyard? Here, here. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Speaker, I know that the uh, I know that the member opposite is uh, is very supportive of a plan for the horse racing industry that would see it be sustainable over time, Mr. Spe Mr. Speaker, into the future, and that's exactly what we have put in place. I came into this job, Mr. Speaker. I knew. I knew that there were concerns with the changes that were being made in the horse racing industry. The former Minister of Agriculture and Food uh, had, had made it clear that there needed to be changes made, Mr. Speaker, that the, the removal of the, the non-transparent and uh, uh, really not um, accountable uh, slots at racetrack program, Mr. Speaker, that it needed to be changed, but that there needed to be a sober second thought on what the replacement would be, Mr. Speaker. That's why the panel was struck. That's why we took rec their recommendations, Mr. Speaker. That's why there's $500 million over the next five years in the horse racing industry to make sure that they have a sustainable future. I'm proud of the work that we've done, Mr. Speaker, and we're going to make sure that horse racing in Ontario is sustainable and accountable. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Unfortunately, her plan is not working. Yeah. Speaker, those glittering casinos were never even built, and yet the horse racing uh, industry now lies in ruins. Yeah. The Auditor General's report yesterday confirmed what we have said all along. The Liberal NDP move to terminate SARP was done with no consultation or consideration of the enormous damage it would do to people in the industry. The government had the information to know that their decision would mean fewer race states, less breeding, less employment, and fewer economic benefits to the agriculture industry. Because the government ignored that information, we now have racetracks closed, lawsuits against the province, and thousands of jobs destroyed. Does that even bother the Premier? Nope. Because that, Speaker, is her record. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Premier? The has stabilized the horse racing industry. We have put in place a plan that will allow the horse racing industry to move forward, Mr. Speaker. And, you know, the Auditor General, the Auditor General was not complimentary of the slots at racetrack program, Mr. Speaker. What she said was, Owners grew reliant on their growing slots revenue share just to sustain their horse racing operations. And they submitted requests to the ORC for fewer race days per year, Mr. Speaker. So, the SARP program was not working. I acknowledge, Mr. Speaker, during our leadership, though, that the uh, replacement for the SARP program was inadequate. We made the changes when I came into this office, Mr. Speaker, and now there is a path to sustainability. The $500 million that we are putting in place because of the recommendations the of John Snowboard and John Wilkinson and Answer. Elmer Buchanan, Mr. Speaker, will allow the horse racing industry to be sustainable into the future. Thank you.